Hi. In Chapter 6 of the Bearing Book, regarding Stephen, the Watchtower asks this question in paragraph 18, and I'm going to read the whole paragraph. What can we learn from Stephen's speech? He was thoroughly familiar with the scriptures. Likewise, we need to be serious students of God's word if we are to handle the word of God the word of the truth aright, 2 Timothy 2.15. We can also learn about graciousness and tact from Stephen. His audience could hardly have been more hostile. Yet for as long as possible, he maintained common ground with them by dwelling on things that those men held in high regard. He also addressed them with respect, calling the older men fathers, Acts chapter 7, verse 2. We, too, need to present the truths of God's word with a mild temper and deep respect, 1 Peter 3, 15. I can thoroughly agree with that whole paragraph. So now, though, we have to look at how do Jehovah's Witnesses and ourselves personally uh, how do we measure up to those those things that Stephen exemplified? The first one was that Stephen was thoroughly familiar with the scriptures. Both Stephen and the men he was speaking to were able to outline the history of their four parents. They could retell large portions of scriptural details contextually when they spoke. They were not proof texters. They heard the, the word spoken regularly when they went to synagogue. So they became very familiar and I think they memorized much of it because they couldn't go home and check a scroll to see you know, how it was worded or what it said. They had this in their minds they were very familiar. Now, as witnesses, were we trained to be that familiar with Scripture? Or did we memorize perhaps single verses uh, and, and have a, a list of ones that we would go to? When the Watchtower uh, publishes Scripture, it's oftentimes a single text, not citing a whole passage of scripture for you to read. So this is the training I believe we received as witnesses, to habitually use single verses. The second point in this paragraph was we need to be serious students of God's word. Were we serious students of God's word? as Jehovah's Witnesses. I have to admit that when I was a witness, I spent more time studying Watchtower publications than studying or reading scripture itself. Do we read the Bible contextually? Or do we read and study all of the Bible books? More often we're studying Watchtower publications that talk about Bible books, but do we read them themselves? And if we don't, can we say, as it says in here, we're handling the word of truth aright? A text without a context is a pretext. Do we endeavor to get the meaning from the context, or are we satisfied with a single verse? or a string of scattered verses from different texts of the Bible. When I was a witness, if a, ho a householder raised a scripture verse as an objection to our teaching, I, as well as the witness partners that I had, would just look elsewhere in scripture to justify our position. We did not really deal with the text that was presented to us. Do we play scripture ping-pong? Are Jehovah's Witnesses 
gracious and tactful to others as Stephen was tactful and gracious. Are we that way when someone disagrees with us, objects to what we're saying, or rejects our position? Or if someone is hostile, are we gracious and tactful then? Stephen did not needlessly offend his audience. He demonstrated this by not using the tetragrammaton when he was speaking to them. He respected and observed the Jewish sensibilities by using something that they would accept, the God of glory, when he is talking about God. This was an accepted substitution for saying out loud the divine name. Are we respectful like Stephen, Peter, and later Paul? Do Jehovah's Witnesses regard professing Christians when they're in the field service or talking to people as brothers? Do they demonstrate respect by listening to them and hearing what they have to say without ridicule or contempt? Do we believe that anyone else might know something we don't know when they're speaking to us? Did we engage in conversations or did we view ourselves as the teacher and the person we were speaking to as unbelievers or even goats? As I recall many witnesses referring to people who did not accept what we said. Who are the governing body and Jehovah's Witnesses more like Stephen or his judges? I'm going to link to a video, two videos. The, the first one is a first of three videos called Humpty Dumpty and Bible Interpretation. Uh, just as far as being serious students of scripture, I think this it would be helpful, those videos for you. So just follow the links at the end. The second one is, did we notice Paul, uh, he goes, he visits synagogues, and he refers or views the Jews as his brothers. <laughs> 